Gentlemen, welcome back to the Fragrance Fraternity. Today we're talking mass versatility, fragrances that are gonna work in any situation, any age, any day, any time, any year, any universe, any dimension. I think I've made my point. Let's get it started here with a quick honorable mention, Nautica Voyage, you guys know this one, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. It's the best selling fragrance on Amazon for a reason. Synthetic, fresh, awesome blind buy for anybody. It's gonna come across really appealing, really fresh, um yeah you can't go wrong with this one it's going to be about 20 bucks for this 100 ml good value for your money but you already know about it so i'm not going to spend too much time on it we're going to go to the official list number 10 aqua de joe profundo this was made by the legend alberto marias i believe the best perfumer in the world you're going to get that original aqua de joe which is the best selling men's fragrance of all time except it's going to have a little bit more of that mineral note it's going to take you right to the ocean you're going to feel like you are standing and getting a sea breeze right in your face every time you wear this one this is probably my favorite fragrance in my entire collection it doesn't last as long as some of these others but it's so good that it's worth getting uh very versatile like the video title says it's just great guys get your nose on this try it out i know a lot of people like profumo I love Profondo. That's going to be my favorite fragrance, period. Number nine is going to be Burberry Touch for Men. All right, this one's been out for a while, but it's uh, it's great for this list. It really works. It's woody, floral, musky. You're going to have a lot of people tell you that they really love the way this one smells. It smells very clean, very elegant, professional. You really can't go wrong with this one. Yeah, it's going to work really well for you in most situations. Burberry Touch for Men coming in at number nine. Check that one out, guys. It's still selling pretty well today, and the ladies really like that one because it smells really clean. Number eight is gonna be Black Walnut Legend from Banana Republic. This is gonna be an Aventus clone. It doesn't have to be this specific fragrance. Mostly this entry is just any sort of Aventus style fragrance is gonna work. It's gonna be really versatile work in any situation that you put it in. It can be an inspired by a fragrance like Mont Blanc Explorer. It can be Club de Nuit Intense Man, which is a really popular one. For me, I have this Banana Republic and this is my particular Aventus clone, but really any of the Aventus clones or real Aventus, if you can uh, afford it, will work in almost every situation. Can't go wrong with this one. Check it out. It's a great fragrance DNA. Uh, a lot of celebrities wearing this one. It's gonna get you a lot of positive attention. It's a very popular fragrance right now. You gotta know it if you're gonna get into this as an enthusiast. You gotta have a familiarity with that Aventus DNA. This is the one that I'm going with, Black Walnut Legend. Next one is gonna be a bit more of a tropical scent DNA to change it up a little bit. This is gonna be Tommy Bahama St. Kitts. It smells like a lemon sorbet to me. Very tropical, very fresh. It's gonna make you feel like you're on vacation. So if you're looking for something a little bit sweeter, a little bit more youthful, this is gonna be for you. The performance is not amazing, but it's affordable, so you can go crazy on the spray, go crazy on the trigger. Maybe get a mobile uh, travel atomizer and refresh with this one. But it's very appealing, and it's pretty unique as far as what most people are wearing today. You're not gonna catch a lot of people out in the wild wearing St. Bart's. So it's gonna set you apart in that way, and it's got a real nice sweetness that attracts attention, but also is not overly sweet to where it's not gonna work in pretty much every situation. Next one, you guys know this one. If you get the feeling like you want to go out in the desert and bury some of your jewelry deep in the sand and then maybe give your buddy Johnny Depp a call, he's going to be happy to hear that you're wearing Dior Sauvage. This is the Eau de Toilette. This is going to be a beast monster and Broxen bomb with a lot of black pepper as well. This is going to work for you wherever you're going. Everyone's going to like it. It's really mass appealing. It sells like crazy for a good reason. If you're getting into this hobby, you gotta get your nose on this. Get familiar with this DNA because it's so popular. You're gonna smell it all the time. Uh, as far as which of the three work best in every situation, I would say this one or the Eau de Parfum. I think the Parfum's gonna be a little bit too sweet for maybe like an office type setting or going to the gym. I think it's gonna be definitely way too sweet. But the Eau de Toilette, you can get away with. Careful on the sprays with this one, guys. This one is a super bomb. So it's a beast mode. Don't go too crazy on it or else you might turn some people off. Three, four, five sprays, you're gonna be good on this and it's gonna last for a really long time. It's a blue fragrance. It's got that shower gel type DNA with some Mambroxan, really appealing. Uh, maybe if this one isn't for you, check out Blue de Chanel. That's gonna be a good alternative to this, but Dior Sauvage for this list. One more uh, blue style fragrance with Ambroxan is gonna be Coach for Men. 
I really love this one, guys. This one is significantly more affordable than Blue de Chanel or Dior Sauvage. And it's bringing a lot of the same things to the table. It's bringing that shower gel freshness that people love right now that's really popular in men's perfumery. Uh, the quality that you get for the price you pay on this is excellent. Something about this one is really, really appealing and draws you back time and time again. This is the second bottle that I've had of this. And I don't know, guys, there's something special about this one. It's not going to blow your mind. It's not going to be anything that you maybe haven't smelled before. But the way that the pear note is done in this is unique enough to where it can be really enjoyable if you are a fan of blue fragrances like I am. Let's keep it going with Missoni Wave up next. Beautiful gradient bottle. If I ever make a men's perfume, it's going to definitely be in a gradient bottle. Get a nice magnetic cap with this too. Uh, you're going to get a fragrance DNA that's going to be similar to Chanel Allurum Sport or Versace Pour Homme. Um, a little bit more aquatic than Versace Pour Homme and a little bit less creamy than Chanel Allure Homme Sport. So it's going to be right there in the middle. Uh, but it doesn't smell like cheap fragrance. It smells pretty close to the Chanel, but not quite as nice as the Chanel. But for the price you pay, it's really good. This one, I love. It's going to be in my top five favorite fragrances. I just love this DNA, the aquatic freshness. Um, the compliment factor is amazing with this one. The performance on this one, I actually get better performance than the Chanel with this Missoni. So check it out. If you guys like that Allurum Sport DNA, you're probably going to like Missoni Wave. And maybe you want to save your Chanel. You don't want to use it all the time. You can use this one. Yeah, I really love that one. Uh, let's keep it going now with Hugo Reversed. So this is going to be like a icy kind of refreshing type of smell mixed with vetiver. This is a great blind buy. This is a great entry point into fragrances. If you're just getting into men's fragrances, you're not sure where to start. You can start here. You're getting a good brand with Hugo Boss and you're getting a really friendly scent profile that pretty much is going to be appealing to everyone. I can't really see anybody not liking the way that this one smells. Performance isn't amazing on it. But you do get a big, I believe this is a 4.2 ounce. Yeah, you get a big 4.2 ounce bottle when you buy this. And it's uh, it's in that under $50 range. I'm not exactly sure where it's at right now. But for the price you pay, you're getting a lot of fragrance. So go ahead and go crazy on the trigger with this one, guys. You cannot overspray this. It's very appealing, very refreshing, perfect for the summertime, but really perfect. You can use it in any occasion or any season. You can even use it in the winter. It's going to come across very, very uplifting. So check that one out. That one's called Hugo Reversed. One more white bottle in this list. We're almost to the end. We got two more. Hang with me. This is going to be Lacoste L1212 Blanc or L1212 White for those of you who need some brushing up on your Spanish. This one smells like fresh linen, like you just did a load of laundry and you just took it out and you get that freshness. Uh, there's white florals in here, which is what's giving it that freshness. And this is a really unique take on a fresh fragrance. It does not smell like anything else out there. If you like fresh fragrances and you want something unique, this is definitely going to be that. As far as the Lacoste fragrances go, this is the best one in my opinion. Really love this stuff. I get a lot of positive attention with this one. You're not going to smell like everybody else, but yet it's very versatile the way you could use it in any situation. It does lean a little bit more youthful. So if you're a man in your 50s or above, this might not be for you. But if you like fresh, sweet fragrances, then you could go ahead and pull this one off. You know, no one's going to criticize you for wearing this this is just very very appealing so check that one out guys this is one of my favorite fresh fragrances uh, i wish the performance was a little bit better but what can you do you know you can just keep spraying more and get a travel atomizer the fragrance itself is excellent and the performance i'd say it's not bad i'd just say it's average you know fresh fragrances it's hard for them to perform a really long time okay very last one on this list thank you for making it this far hang with me we got mont blanc presence so the reason I decided to include this one is it's got a little bit different DNA than some of the other fresh ones in here. It's going to be a little bit more spicy and soapy. It's got a strong cinnamon note. So if you're a fan of cinnamon, this could be right up your alley. Um, not too many people wearing this one. So you are going to be pretty unique when you wear this, even though the actual scent profile itself is not super unique. It's just the fact that you don't really smell that many people wearing this, this these days. And this is mass peeling. Like I said, for all the rest of these, it's going to work in any situation. You can wear this in the office, in school. Um, you could pretty much go pretty hard on the trigger on this one. Uh, going to be hard to overdo. The performance is not amazing, but the profile of the scent and the DNA overall is very appealing. It's going to be a pretty safe blind buy. It is a little bit on the spicier side for me personally, 
Um, I tend to go with the sweet and fresh, but if you're someone who likes spicy a little bit more so than sweet, then this would be something that you would prefer, uh, prefer more so, excuse me. So check this one out. A uh, great release from Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc Presence. That's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for hanging with me. Hope you liked today's video. Hit that subscribe button if you can. I'll catch you next time and another day. Thank you, God, at the Fragrance Fraternity. See you guys later.